Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a drama film. Nobody from nowhere. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with Sebastian, a realtor who lives in a suburban house. In the first scene, we see Sebastian cleaning the house, and then he calls his agency to say goodbye. Afterward, we see his body sticking in the oven, and the house explodes. It is a flashback of what we are going to see later. Subsequently, the scene flashes to the church, where Sebastian attends a christening. After the ceremony, his sister invites him to have dinner with them, but Sebastian refuses, as he is an introvert who enjoys his own company. The following day, Sebastian meets a potential client of the apartment. While the man expresses his thoughts, Sebastian carefully observes his physique and gestures. He is planning to take on his identity. Afterward, Sebastian purchases shoes similar to the man, and then stalks him on the way home. At home, he starts making some mixtures to make the mask and prosthetics that he will use to imitate the man's features. The next day, Sebastian goes to his client's apartment and enters the house right after they leave. He observes the house, prepares his props, and starts his makeover. Later, he successfully transforms himself into his client, then reiterates the man's lines and gestures during their meeting. He enjoys staying at his client's home, checks his personal information, and attends group therapy. After his successful roleplay, he gets home and happily removes his prosthetics. The following day, after Sebastian works, he attends group therapy, using his client's look again. Then someone recognizes the client on the train and keeps calling his attention. So Sebastian runs and the man chases him. After that, Sebastian smashes the bus sculpture of his client, which means he will not imitate him anymore, as he almost gets caught. The next day, Sebastian visits a therapist, confessing how he tries to change himself and his perceptions about life. However, he finds pleasure in trying to live others' lives. One day, Sebastian observes his surroundings. Everyone is busy, looking happy, and enjoying their lives. Afterward, he meets a woman who represents a famous musician and makes a selling deal for him, as the man plans to return to Paris and stay in an apartment discreetly. While the woman dictates their apartment requirements, Sebastian observes her. Then the secretary accompanies him to the French musician's room. The musician called Henry arrogantly speaks to Sebastian and somehow insults his scent. He then marks him as his next target and observes his gestures and physical features. After that, Sebastian listens to Henry's shows to memorize how he speaks, learns his lines, and then begins preparing the wax to imitate Henry's face. One morning, Sebastian meets the secretary and drives him to Henry's place to offer him the apartment of his choice. On their way, the secretary tells him that Henry had a car accident and he lost his two fingers, which hindered him from playing his violin again. That makes Henry live in exile and become low-spirited. Upon arriving, the secretary is about to introduce the apartment suitable for him, but Henry interrupts her and lets Sebastian choose for him. After that, Henry invites Sebastian to have a drink. He tells him the tragic story that hinders him from playing. He explains how he hates it when people look at him in pity, but Sebastian does not, so he feels comfortable with him. Later, Henry gets drunk, so Sebastian accompanies him to his apartment. Then he looks at the pictures and practices the celebrity's lines. Afterward, he begins making the mixture to make prosthetics he will use to copy Henry's facial features. One day, Sebastian peeks out the window and sees Henry going out for a walk with his dog. He then rushes to his apartment with his suitcase and transforms himself into Henry's look. He imitates his face, body figure, and outfit. Sebastian imagines playing with a dog like how Henry does it. He also sets up a meal as if eating in a restaurant and utters Henry's lines from the show he watched. Then he calls the agency, pretending to be Henry, to commend their agent and suggest rewarding Sebastian. Moments later, Henry and his dog arrive. Sebastian runs into the room to hide his things, and when he is about to leave, Henry's former girlfriend, Clements, is at the door, so he immediately closes it. Clements continuously knocks, and Henry approaches, so Sebastian hides in the cabinet. He listens as Henry annoyingly yells at her behind the door, telling her to leave. After that, Sebastian gets out of the apartment quietly. But as he walks downstairs, he gets shocked to see Clements still waiting on the stairs. Sebastian, who still has Henry's look, feels pity for her, so he decides to listen to Clements in the cafe. Clements reveals that they have a son. She visits to inform Henry that the kid takes after him. The boy admires his father and loves playing the violin too. Sebastian listens to her and does not say a word, in fear that he will expose himself. Before the woman leaves, she hands Sebastian her son's photo and tells him their address. After that, Sebastian gets home devastated after hearing about the kid and how Henry has been neglecting him. The following day, Sebastian goes to work and suddenly sees Henry's son in the building. In the middle of his meeting, he leaves and watches the boy playing violin in another building. Sebastian feels sad for him. He feels the urge to continue portraying Henry. 
So he visits Clements's house, disguising himself as Henry again. He meets the son and invites him to go for a walk and chat about life, to compensate for Henry's shortcomings. The following day, Sebastian meets Henry in the restaurant. Henry requests him to look for an apartment in Spain as he wants to keep away from Clements and his son. Suddenly, the woman arrives angrily and yells at Henry, making him feel embarrassed. Sebastian assists Clements outside and calms her down by saying that Henry is discussing his plans for his son. She wants to confront him, but Sebastian convinces her to go. After that, Sebastian goes to a store, buys an inspiring DVD, and watches it at home to get some words of wisdom about life. Then, Sebastian pretends to be Henry and calls the kid. The boy's mother listens as he happily speaks with his father over the phone. One night, Sebastian calls Clements again to invite the kid to meet in his apartment. So in the evening, Sebastian looks over Henry's apartment. When he sees its lights turned off, he wears Henry's looks and goes into his apartment, thinking that Henry is away. But as he prepares some food, he gets shocked when the messy dog approaches him. He follows the dog into the living room, only to discover Henry's dead body hanging from the ceiling. When Sebastian is about to run off, the doorbell from the gate rings, and he sees Clements and the boy from the monitor. So he advises them to take the stairs, and then he quickly hides Henry's corpse in the room. The messy dog follows them and stays with his owner. Afterward, Clements and the boy arrive, so Sebastian leaves the dog in the room. He then lets them in, and they immediately notice him feeling tense, but they are not suspecting that they are dealing with a fake Henry. After that, Clements leaves the boy with Sebastian. While Sebastian vomits in the kitchen, Henry's kid walks around the living room and discovers his father's letter, which Sebastian overlooks. Sebastian is also shocked and tries to retrieve the letter, but the boy asks him to read it for him. Apparently, Henry wrote the letter before he hanged himself. In the letter, he explains how music has helped him and that it is what makes life meaningful. So Henry decided to bequeath his precious companion, the violin, to his son. After reading the letter, the boy is deeply touched and immediately hugs Sebastian without knowing that it was his father's last letter before committing suicide. Later, the boy is picked up by his mother. Sebastian sits in the room, feeling devastated by his situation. He pets the dog as he feels sad for it and decides to take on Henry's identity, so he starts to get rid of his body. Subsequently, he puts Henry's body in the cabinet and brings it into his apartment. He alters his looks, wears a suit, and cleans the house, before he calls his agency to say goodbye. It is what we see at the movie's beginning. He sets up his fake death, so that he will take Henry's identity forever. After he sets the timer to blow up the house, Sebastian immediately flees and returns to Henry's apartment. To perfect his impersonation, Sebastian cuts off his two fingers, and at the same time, the house with Henry's body in it explodes. The following day, Sebastian wakes up with Henry's dog beside him. On the first day of taking over Henry's identity in life, he prepares himself and starts the day by walking his dog out, having his lunch at the restaurant, and chilling with his dog. He also practices how to imitate Henry's signature. One morning, while Sebastian is having breakfast, someone delivers a letter. It's an invitation to Sebastian's funeral rites. He chuckles as people believe in his fake death. Later, Sebastian impersonates Henry, attends the religious ceremony, and meets his family, mourning his death. Afterward, as Sebastian prepares his belongings, the police arrive at his door, asking his permission to interview him about the previous incident. The cops question him about his interactions with Sebastian, without knowing that he is not the real musician. Simultaneously, Sebastian observes the cops' gestures and physical features. The following day, Sebastian meets Henry's son, and they spend their weekend together in some place. In the morning, as Sebastian wakes up, he sees the boy browsing a magazine. The boy asks him about his past experiences as a musician, and gets a little annoyed by how Sebastian responds and tries to divert the topic. So Sebastian changes the topic by telling him how imperfect he is as a father and a musician. Regardless, the boy still appreciates him as his father. Later, as they drive home, the boy mentions that he wants to experience having a concert. So Sebastian decides to let him play the violin in public and show off his skills in front of the audience. The boy feels delighted after seeing the public applaud him. After that, they eat in the restaurant and Sebastian gives him some advice and tricks, which makes him glad. After that, Sebastian takes the boy to his mother. Clements tells Sebastian that the cops asked her about the real estate agent's death and her relationship with Henry. Sebastian realizes that the cops suspect Henry to be linked to the explosion. After that, Sebastian buys a flower and requests to deliver it to the cop's office. Then, he goes to the police station and locates the cop's office by finding the flowers he ordered. He walks and checks every office and sees it through the fresh flower on the desk. Immediately, Sebastian gets inside and checks the file reports about Sebastian's case. He browses the report and confirms that they suspect Henry. 
Suddenly, the phone rings as he answers the call. A woman reports that they will search Henry's apartment soon. Sebastian, who disguises himself as the cop, goes downstairs simultaneously as the original cop is coming upstairs. Luckily, he manages to exit the building without being noticed. Afterward, Sebastian gets back to his identity as Henry. He writes a letter before he leaves the apartment. When he sees that the cops are outside the building, he exits from behind. Then he collects his money from the bank and meets claimants. He hands her the documents, indicating Henry's assets are to be transferred to their son. Claimants finds it bizarre, and she gets worried, so she tries to ask him not to leave. Simultaneously, the cops arrive at Henry's apartment, where they only find the dog alone. They search the house, and find his letter on the desk that the dog will be entrusted to claimants. It gives them a hint that Henry has run off. Subsequently, Henry's secretary receives an envelope of cash and a note thanking her for her service. Meanwhile, Sebastian travels to another country and undergoes surgery to give him the exact same face as Henry forever. Afterward, Henry's son performs at an event exquisitely, and some cops are in the venue trying to catch Henry's presence. As Henry's son plays the violin, we hear Sebastian narrate Henry's statement, admitting he is guilty of killing Sebastian. He explains that it is because Sebastian was trying to take his son. After the event, the cops observe the guests. Surprisingly, Sebastian, still disguised as Henry, arrives to congratulate his son and bids his farewell, and claimants look shocked to see him again. Finally, he surrenders to the cops as he believes the prison is a fantastic place for him. Besides, Sebastian is missing a sense of self. He tries to fulfill it by trying to live other people's lives, and for him, the reality is unreal and the body is an illusion. As the opening scene's narration describes Sebastian, he is a man who has lived 42 years of non-existence, as he finds pleasure in living others' lives. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.